also had many inequities and unequal opportunities. Uh, we must address that so that all Liberians feel like they're a part of the country, they own the country, they take part in a decision that affects their lives, and that um, natural resources with which we've been bountifully blessed by God are shared um, as equally as possible among all the citizens of the country. So I think we've started to move in that direction. We still have a long way to go, but I hope that uh, we'll be put on an irreversible course, and I'm very lucky to be able to lead that movement. Our four pillars, peace and, peace and security, economic revitalization, infrastructure and basic services, governance and the rule of law, are all reflective of uh, the road that our people want us to take and a development agenda that they would like for us to implement. The main projects and programs that we're developing um, relate to building, rebuilding state capacity with the different ministries. And we're also working in terms of peace building initiatives. The main overarching challenge is um, capacity, human capacity, to reform how these institutions run, how they are structured, in order to meet the new challenges in a participatory democracy. I think the main priorities of UNDP uh, moving forward to 2010-2011 is access to justice. That's one of our main um, um, program areas, enhancing access to justice for all. And also, as you might be aware, the elections comes up in 2011. And that will be a very key and critical activity in terms of building confidence in the electoral process in Liberia and to ensure that it doesn't become a flashpoint for potential re return to conflict. So um, rule of law, um, supporting el electoral management and also the conduct of ele um, election to 2011. We want to make sure that civil society organizations re uh, recognize and accept their role as partners working with government for the development of this country. And we are looking at partnership between civil society organizations, government and our partners. It is through the work of the Government Commission that we set up the Anti-Corruption Commission. We developed national security sector reform uh, mandate uh, functions. We also developed um, established framework for code of conduct for public officials. And then in the area of uh, political and legal reform, we have set up the Law Commission and Presently, they have been, we are in the process of setting up the Constitutional Reform Tax Force. And then finally, we, over the two years, have been engaged in decentralization efforts, significantly establishing a policy for devolving political, fiscal, and administrative powers to local authorities. And all of these programs I've described have been supported by UNDP. We help with the re-establishment, refocusing, and implementation of the national security sector strategy, which was drawn up by the government of Liberia with the support of the United Nations mission in Liberia. We have been able to help train over 2,700 police officers since the Accra Comprehensive Agreement. Now we are looking at how we can deploy them in the various counties in the country. The key challenge is to build up the capacity of the Liberian National Police and the various security agencies up to a level that they can deal with internal security. First of all, it is of course to keep the stability and the security of the country as a whole, but then also to be able to deliver security services to the people. Because without a government and a state that can do that, uh, the, the people will never have confidence and if you don't have people or confidence in the, in the state and the government's ability to do that, you will never have proper peace. From the part of UNTP, we can see that uh, they tried their best to bring in more females. When I started the uh, training, because when I started for each class, you had like five females and 145 males. That was really bad. But for now, at least you can boast of having um, close to 400 females in the LMP, if that's good. We can see that the gender initiative is really being promoted. Police is actually working 
we are come back crying into this country and into this country as a whole. The operation into this country is normal. As every corner of this country, as it happened, police are there and police operate and arrest and bring it and prosecute through court. There's so many things that need to be worked on in Liberia and you can't do everything at once, so you have to be strategic. So I think uh, the work that is being done on basic governance is very important because unless you can improve governance, drive out uh, corruption, account for the money, uh, institute the rule of law, have a justice system which, which operates, then you haven't got the underpinnings of a state.